amazing recipe. I am so excited yet another day because today at the Young's house, Gina Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make delicious neck bones smothered in gravy. These neck bones right here, they are pretty much bomb. So easy to make, doesn't require a lot of ingredients and you know, make a Gina Young style hands down, it's going to be so tasty. You'll never have my neck bones smothered in gravy. I'm gonna make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you're gonna need. First thing that you would need would be some neck bones, and we'll, I'll show you the neck bones when we get into the video. You're gonna need some neck bones. Now, when it comes to purchasing your neck bones, you can get the kind that are smoked, or you can get the raw kind. Either one will do the trick, okay? And they're both delicious. Now, you're gonna need a lime. I like to use lime or lemon to wash off my neck bones. You wanna wash them off very good. And then we also use salt and cold water. You need some fresh thyme. So I have some organic thyme here, and then I have uh, some tomato paste. We're gonna use just a little bit. And then also you're gonna need some color. And the color's gonna come from our gorgeous bell peppers that we have here. And also, um, it's gonna give you great flavor. So we have the tri-colored bell peppers, and we have some flour here. This is just an all-purpose flour, any kind of flour you have around the house is going to help you make a nice thick gravy. We also have a pre-cut onion here and that's a sweet Vidalia onion. You can have um, uh, a, 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 a smoked neck bones <laughs> smothered in gravy without rice on the side. Okay and then also you're going to need some coconut milk and we're going to use the coconut milk for our rice. It's really interesting and we're also going to use these gandules peas they're gonna go on our rice as well. And you're gonna need a couple of spices so we can make this thing taste good. So right here, we have some oxtail seasoning and marinade. And also we have some parsley flakes, you know, make everything nice and beautiful. I have some browning here. We're gonna use some black pepper, garlic powder, accent, and now the accent, a lot of people don't like to use it, some people love it. So if you don't wanna use it, just don't use it. You're gonna need some onion powder and some Maggie seasoning and chicken powder. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really easy recipe, Gina Young style. So now I wanted to show you all what I've done ahead of time because I, I pre-cooked these gorgeous neck bones and also with my neck bones, I do have a couple of ham hocks in here. Now. When I pre-cook them, let's talk about how I did it and why I did it. The purpose for, re, for pre-cooking them is because naturally, it's, gonna to, it's going to take your neck bones a nice amount of time to get cooked and get nice and tender. So I didn't want to have this video that is just so long that, you know. So what I've done was I put some water in the pan. I have washed off the neck bones and the ham hocks. And then what we did was we went in with a whole bunch of seasonings. And those seasonings were bell pepper, onion, we used some of this gorgeous oxtail, uh, oxtail seasoning and marinade. And then we put um, two tablespoons of tomato paste in here. And let's come down to the spices and I'll show you all once again. We use the browning, that's how I got that gorgeous color, the black pepper, garlic powder, accent, onion powder, and the flavor is coming from this here, this, and the accent. Like this right here, this juice that's all up in here, it's so tasty, like I can't stop tasting it. So now, the, these um, neck bones are nice and tender and you can almost see the meat pulling away from the bone already, right? So now that we've done that, we are going to take our neck bones and our um, ham hocks out of the pan and set them onto a platter. But all that juice that's inside of this pan, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna make an amazing gravy that is unforgettable. And the reason why it's unforgettable, because it's so flavorful, we use all these spices. Okay, so let's get this meat onto a platter. We'll get started on the gravy. Then we're gonna smother these babies just like so. Okay, everyone, so the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna show you how much oil I have in my pan here. It's not a lot, but it's enough to make gravy, you know? And we're gonna make a nice amount of gravy because we really wanna smother these babies in this delicious gravy. I, I, I keep ranting and raving on how 
delicious the juice is. So if your juice that you boiled your meat in is delicious, you know your gravy's gonna be delicious. So now I have a uh, bell pepper here. Once I get that oil nice and hot, I am then going to add in our flour with the oil so we can start the gravy. And then what I'm gonna do, something that I don't do often, is I'm going to put the bell peppers and onions in with our gravy and our oil as the, the roux starts to come together for the gravy. So let's get these peppers and onions sliced up just like so. I'll be right back. I wanna talk about something really quickly. In the past, um, there have been times where if I were gonna make a neck bone, I would wash it, season it up real good, um, dredge it in a little bit of flour and then fry it a little bit get like a sear on the outside of it and then proceed with the recipe but I found out throughout the years that this rep this doing it this way is much easier it's much less stress-free you don't have to fry it you know it's gonna get nice and, and, and tender and juicy and and also that flavor is still there so either way you do it it's gonna be delicious but if you want to you know kind of hassle free you know, do it this way, much easier. Okay, so I have the oil heated up. Let's go ahead and make our gravy. We'll get started on it anyways. So I have a half a cup of flour. If you have, this is all purpose, but honestly, if you have self rising or any kind of flour you like to use, it'll work. This is a little bit over a half a cup. And what I wanna do is I wanna really mix in that flour into the oil just like so until we get um, a consistency that kinda of looks like peanut butter. You know, it doesn't have to be that dark, but we want that consistency. You never want this to look like plaster. If it looks like plaster, it's not gonna turn out right. So let me mix this all in with the oil and I'll be right back to show you what it should look like. So now remember I spoke of the consistency never being too thick, but thick enough to make a gravy? That's what you're looking like, and it's really starting to get brown pretty quickly. So what I'm gonna do is now I wanna go ahead and add the bell peppers. We'll, put, we'll add half of them, okay? And then we'll add all of the onion, just like so, into you know our roux mixture. And then we're gonna go ahead and add this gorgeous broth that we cooked our neck bones and ham hocks in and guess what happens next you stir like crazy and we're going to stir this just like so and very quickly this will turn it'll start to get nice and thick and turn into that perfect consistency gravy that you're going to want to put your neck bones into when i come back we'll get the neck bones into the gravy so now first thing I wanna do, I, I'm so excited. First thing I wanna do is I want you all to take a look down into the gravy, see what it's looking like. It's looking beautiful, you bet it is. And as the onions and the bell peppers continue to cook, it's gonna really let off even more amazing flavor. Okay, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna add about a tablespoon, only a tablespoon of concentrated tomato paste, okay? That's it, okay? It's gonna give you a really umami factor, okay? Great flavor right there. So we wanna go in and get that nice and mixed up just like so. Now, rarely here at the Young's house will you see me use thyme. I'm not a fan of thyme. Well, let's just put it this way. I'm not a fan of dried thyme. Dried thyme kind of gives me the shivers. But fresh thyme, I feel like sometimes when you make different dishes, like if you are making something like this or oxtails, you need a little bit of thyme, okay? And we're gonna use just a little sprig. I'm gonna put about two sprigs in there. It's gonna let off amazing flavor. Make you kind of feel like you're in the islands. So this right here, get the whole sprig in there. And it smells so fragrant and beautiful. So now here's what we're gonna do. We are going to take these gorgeous, neck bones and get it get in there oh we get in there and look at that ham hock get in there oh and you just smother and have a good time in that bath right there all right and these babies are going to get even more tender like i said keep in mind try it this way you are going to love the way we made it this way by boiling them ahead of time instead of frying them get in there get nice and smothered okay so now here when we come back we're going to get started on our rice and, I, and we're doing something really interesting with the rice today when i come back 
So we're over here at our boiling water, and what I like to do, anytime I'm making rice potatoes or noodles, um, you wanna salt the water so you give the rice some flavor. But not only are we gonna do that with this rice, but we are gonna add some coconut milk. Now this coconut milk is not sweetened. You wanna make sure you don't use sweetened coconut milk, okay? So I like to pour just about all of the can into my water and some of you may say well how's the flavor going to get into the rice well there's little uh little holes in this bag and it's going to be able to receive that salt flavor and the coconut flavor as well so we're going to cook this for 11 minutes until it's light and fluffy beautiful every time now i wanted to talk about this browning seasoning um if you've never used it before one thing that you can do um with it is you can rub your meat down with it but you don't, you don't need a whole lot of this. Just a little bit of this, honestly, goes a long way and it does give it a really unique taste. Like I said, don't use too much. But I didn't do it that way. Here's what I did. I just added about a cap, and a, this cap, a cap and a half full into my water and I got that gorgeous color. So if you were wondering, that's how you use this. Okay, so now our neck bones, and ham hocks smothered in gravy, they're done. And I cannot wait till you all see how I like to present this. Now, our rice is done also. So we've drained the um, coconut milk in the water and I'm gonna put some butter in there. This is about four tablespoons of butter. And then we're gonna add our gandules in. Some of you may call it pigeon peas, same thing. And I like to add a little bit over a half a can, okay? And since the rice is so hot, it's going to cook these beans, okay? These beans are fully cooked. But what I do like to do, keep in mind we've already salted it. The coconut milk has given it so much flavor. This is a sweet cream butter, gonna give amazing flavor as well. Like, look at it. Like when you eat this right here, you really feel like you're in the islands. So here's what I like to do. We're going to take a little bit of plastic wrap or cling wrap and we're going to cover this just to keep it nice and warm okay and once we have it warm you know it's done like i said the beans don't have to cook they just want to get nice and heated up just like so when i come back listen here if y'all enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe tell your family and friends and everyone you know tell the whole world about Gina young what i'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis when i come back you can take a bite so I wanted to show this to you all. This is what it looked like when I boiled it when I first started to cook it in the water with all the spices. We boiled it for two hours. And now in with the gravy, one hour. It's done. Let's go ahead and say our prayer so you all can take a bite. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we want to thank you once again for a beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Take a look at it, everybody. Jeannie Young style, smothered neck bones, make you some Gina Young style. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. I know you guys can see the smoke, so this is really hot. I'm not gonna take a bite because I will burn my mouth like I always do. But I tell you what I can taste. Look at that. The gravy and the rice with the gandules, beans. Look at this. My goodness. I'm going all in. I don't care about my yellow shirt. No, I don't. Mm-hmm. That's good. My goodness. Look at this meat. Mm. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night.